Hi everybody. Good morning. Uh, welcome to Wednesday at uh, Painesville Lutheran Church. Today we are going to talk about some scripture that is uh, out of the book of John and it is John chapter 14 verses 1 through 7 and I'm going to read it today for you out of the Message Bible and the Message is just another version of the Bible. There's all sorts of different versions of the Bible and translations and the Message um, is one that is translated in a way that may be a little bit easier to understand. So here is the scripture from John chapter 14, verses 1 through 7. Don't let this throw you. You trust God, don't you? Trust me. There is plenty of room for you in my father's home. If that weren't so, would I have told you that I am on my way to get a room ready for you? And if I'm on my way to get your room ready, I'll come back and get you so you can live where I live. And you already know the road I'm taking. Thomas said, Master, we have no idea where you're going. How do you expect us to know the road? Jesus said, I am the road, also the truth, also the life. No one gets to the Father apart from me. If you really knew me, you would know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him. You have even seen him. Here ends our scripture reading. So there's a lot of different words in this um, scripture today. And Pastor Paul had a message on Sunday about the same scripture. So if you didn't have a chance to check that out, you should go ahead and do that. Um, but there's a lot of things that talks about trust. It talks about belief. It talks about um, getting rooms ready. It talks about Jesus being the way, the road, the truth, and the life. And today I am in a different room of church. Um, bonus points if anyone knows which room this is that I'm in. Um, but our, our church has a lot of different rooms. Your homes have a lot of different rooms. Tammy, Tammy is going to talk about all the different types of rooms uh, when we have our youth and family moment in just a little bit. But today I want to focus on the fact that Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And Jesus really is talking to his disciples and telling his disciples um, about the fact that if they follow Jesus, they will have eternal life and that he is the truth, and that he is the bringer of that eternal life. He's also talking about how we know God because we know Jesus. And so as you go about your week this week, I want you to think about all of the ways that we know that Jesus is present in our lives. I've seen a lot of really neat things, of um, things that people have been doing for others, and um, thank you for everything that you are doing for your family and for your neighbors, and um, maybe for your brothers and sisters, and all the ways that we can reach out are so important during this time um, that we're all struggling with, with what this means in our world. And um, so thanks for the ways that you are being the church to everyone else. Have a great week, and make sure that you are also checking out our services on Sundays. youth and family to Wednesdays at PLC. Do you know what these are? They're keys, right? What do you do with keys? Well, they unlock things or start things, right? Usually they unlock things. I have a key that unlocks my camper and I have one that unlocks my house and unlocks my garage. I have one that unlocks my car, right? So you have to use the right key and the right lock. If you put a key in the wrong lock, you got to force it in, right? And it doesn't turn. Will these keys get me into heaven? Will one of them let me know or become closer with God? No, these keys will not do that. But what will? There is something or rather someone who is the way to God's kingdom. Do you know who that is? Of course. It's Jesus. In the gospel today, Jesus described himself as being the way, the truth, and the life. He said that he was going to go to heaven to prepare a place for us. His disciples asked him to show the way and asked what God the Father was like. Jesus told them that he was the way and that he was one of, with God. Those who knew Jesus knew God. You see, way back in the beginning, Adam and Eve disobeyed God. When they sinned, 
it locked the door between us and the fellowship with God and brought pain to many. Well, fortunately, God is a pretty good locksmith. He had a plan to bring us back into a relationship with him. And that plan was fulfilled in Jesus. He is the key to life. He is the way we can be saved, draw near to God, and one day to heaven. It isn't something we can do ourselves. Just like we can't wiggle or force a key into a lock, we can't enter or force our own way into heaven. We have to go through Jesus. When we put our faith in Christ and trust that his death and resurrection saved us, we can rest assured that we are in God's family. We can talk to God, share our thoughts, and tell him our hopes and needs in the name of Jesus. We know that we will be in that heavenly household one day. And in the meantime, we know that Jesus is present and will never leave us. He is the key. In the scripture that Kari read earlier on John chapter 14, in verse 2, it talked that Jesus went to prepare a room for us, that Jesus' house has many rooms. Now that's kind of silly. God's house has many rooms. Have you ever looked at a blueprint? Got a couple here. Here's a blueprint of a house. It has many rooms. You've got the living room and the bathroom. You've got the kitchen and bedrooms. There's many rooms in this house. And there are so many different kinds of houses and different kinds of rooms. You know, sometimes there's even rooms in big buildings. This is a, a picture of a, a larger building, a commercial building where people do business. And there are all kinds of rooms. There's conference rooms and all sorts of things. Your house has many rooms too. You probably have bedrooms and hopefully your own or you have to share. But God's house has many different types of rooms. God's house has a room for each and every one of us. When we go to heaven, God will have a place prepared for each and every one of us that we can spend eternal life with him. Amen. This week, we have some activity pages for you. If you go visit our website, www.painsvillelutheran.org, there is a spot on the home page on the bottom that has youth activities. And we've got a coloring page and some circle words that are related to today's readings and to today's lesson. So we hope that you're able to go there and view those. Thank you and we'll see you next week. Hello everybody. Uh, happy confirmation to you. Uh, for those of you in the confirmation program, we're just thankful to uh, connect with you again this Wednesday. Um, this week we're going to do something a little different. I have a few questions that I want to share with you. And I would love for you, whether you're in confirmation or not, maybe you want to share some of these uh, thoughts to, you know, with, with your family or those that you, uh, if no one's there, you can give them a text and, and uh, see what they think about some of these things. It's good for us to ask questions. It's good for us to delve into our faith uh, by digging into some of those questions that maybe we uh, don't think about very often. So uh, today there are three, three questions. The first is... Um, what unique symbol of faith is most important to you? So everybody has different uh, symbols of faith that uh, drive them and, and help them stay connected. What would that be for you? And share that with your family. And then um, the second question is, whose, whose faith story do you want to hear and why? So that could be someone from your family or perhaps somebody you just know, or maybe um, maybe it's even a biblical character or a person from history. So think a little bit about that one. And remember, it's whose faith story would you like to hear about and why? And the final question uh, is for you uh, today, and it involves the Ten Commandments. Uh, the Ten Commandments describe a lifestyle associated with the Christian life. Which one seems to be ignored most today? So which one seems to be ignored the most today? 
uh, as far as the Ten Commandments. That gets you thinking about the Ten Commandments a little bit. Uh, remember, those are also in the books that we have for you, and uh, and you can find those, of course, on the Internet too, but uh, if you don't remember the order. Uh, God's peace be with you. We sure miss seeing you guys, and uh, we pray that you are all doing well as you wrap up school, uh, and we will be sending out more information soon, especially to our ninth graders. But if any of you in, in confirmation especially have any questions, please don't hesitate to text me or email me or give me a call. God's peace be with you all. week, everybody. Um, thanks for joining us for our Wednesdays at Painesville Lutheran Church. And um, make sure that you check out the links that Tammy is putting on the website. And also, um, we have our Celebration of Gifts Sunday coming up on the 24th. So if you want to send in some pictures or some videos of ways that you are using your gifts in the world, um, we would absolutely love to include those in worship on Sunday. Um, the 24th. We just need them into the office and into my email, which is kari at painesvillelutheran.org. Um, we need that by uh, Tuesday, May 19th. So hope everything's going well for, for everybody. If you need anything, please reach out to the church office and we will do whatever we can to help you out. Have a great day, everybody. <music>